Hi guys, I've, this is my second time filming this video and it's hard to find a setup that works. So I'm just gonna have to crouch down, otherwise I'm just like this. But anyway, so, oh, I don't know if I can do this. I guess this will work. So, Anyway, like I said, this is my second time filming it and I have notes because the first time I rambled a bunch and I just didn't want to do that. But anyway, so in this video, as you read, um, well, first off, I just wanted to make a super short video for this week since, well, today's Monday and yesterday was Easter and we were just busy with all of that stuff. So yeah i figured this video could be helpful and it would be a shorter video just because it's a talk like a talk through chit chat type of video and i might even change locations at some point just because i don't know how long i will want to sit like this but anyway so um how i sell my necklaces i guess I, since I got off Etsy, um, if you're new to my channel, I had an Etsy shop called Miami Made and I still have the shop and I technically still have the Etsy shop, but it has just one listing on it to kind of act as like a placeholder in a way. So I have to move. I can't do this. <laughs> do, do, do. Do 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 I think this is just as good as it's gonna get. I'll be I'm a little washed out looking, but that's okay. So I have that one listing in my shop for um, kind of a placeholder. I'm gonna keep inching. I just wanna be able to see my flowers. Um, so that people that may find me on Etsy, they can, uh, in the description box I have to to route them towards my Instagram to see all the other necklaces that I have for sale and whatnot um, I that listing is for an actual necklace like I still have it and I'm selling it but I just want to make sure like I'm not missing out on potential customers like that so I have um, something called a claim post, and I have a little clip of me showing, explaining all that too. Um, and I'll insert that at some point towards the end when I'm done talking. Okay, so um, for my shop, I was bringing more views myself through social media and all of that than Etsy was bringing towards my views. Um, so that's why I decided to do this. Otherwise, if Etsy was bringing in more views and um, bringing in more orders, then I probably wouldn't do this and I would just stick with Etsy and continue how I was doing. But since I was bringing in a significantly more amount of views than Etsy was, it didn't really make sense for me to put in all the effort and pay all the fees that Etsy was charging when I was the one bringing in my customers to my site. So that's why I decided to do um, my shop this way, just so, because um, Etsy was kind of more of like a middleman for me. Well, I guess they technically kind of are, but um, when I first started, Obviously Etsy was bringing in more views than I was since I didn't have the following that I have now. Not saying that my following is huge or anything, but you know, you start off at 
zero following sometimes and um, so it just made sense to stick with Etsy and then now it makes sense to not but I still wanted to have that one listing just in case people stumbled across my shop oh also with the view not with the views but with Etsy um, upping their fees and I know that they're going to continue to up their fees because that's just how business works every company will start charging more and more and that's just the way it is so I wasn't surprised when Etsy upped their fees again because I feel like they've upped some sort of fee every year that I've been on Etsy I could be wrong but that's what it felt like so or what it feels like so and I didn't want to change my prices just because I I feel like I have a good relationship with my customers and especially since I um, bring in most of my customers through social social media like I recognize the names and I have a lot of repeat customers and stuff I didn't want to change or up my prices for them just because I don't know it just didn't feel right they they didn't feel like complete strangers to me and like oh I don't care let's charge a butt ton of money you know and um and there's like a loyalty thing like I appreciate people that shop my sh that shop in my shop but also people that continually shop in my shop obviously like what business wouldn't like that but so I do I sell through Instagram and like I said I'll put in a clip but I do it that way so people have or customers have a chance to buy my necklaces or items at the original price of um, $25 plus the free domestic shipping and then um, I think I mentioned this in this clip I'm doing it out of order since I'm redoing my intro but then once I after a week or so or however long you want to do a claim post on Instagram if you choose to do it this way um, then I add it in the past I've added it to or I had the plan to add to at my Etsy shop but with my last job I didn't have any extra like they all sold within that first week um, and I still haven't decided if I'm going to with this drop that I just did I am adding them to my shop tomorrow Tuesday because it's been a week if I'm going to add it to my Etsy or if I'm going to add it to my A Lazy Tuesday shop just because I'm already paying for A Lazy Tuesday and then um, maybe people will see something they like on A Lazy Tuesday and they might like buy something from A Lazy Tuesday and Mimi Made or something. And I think I mentioned this in my next clip too, but I will just insert, gosh this lighting is so good right now. I will just insert that clip that I was talking about, the more details of my claim post and selling on Instagram, right here. And then I think I have an out, an outro. So, yeah. So this is the last time you'll see this part of me, I think. But if you have any questions of anything or if I haven't gone over it in the next clips, just leave a comment and let me know below. Also, I don't think I finished <laughs> my turn of thought, but I have some other videos in mid filming, but yeah, I didn't want to spend my day doing that today. And I am working on, um, I changed up the scrunchie sizes a little bit. So this is, um, the new size and the new, one of the new, um, fabrics that I'm going to do and that's what I'm going to do today. I think I'm going to film making next week will be um, a video on those scrunchies. But anyway, so this is my shop's Instagram, my, my me made one, my me made. And what I do is I make a claim post. This is from not this past drop, but the drop before. So I just have this cover thing and then I number them and then whoever I just say hey it's a claim post they all have been claimed because this is from a bit ago and then what people do they just put comments of let me see if I can find 
just one of them. Do, 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 do. Oh, see, so she claimed O, E. So they'll just claim whichever one they want, and then I would update it periodically, like every couple necklaces that sell. I will take this picture and I add it to my, I edit it on my phone and just put an X through the ones that have sold. Or I do that in my stories and then I'll share it in my stories of which ones have been taken or what it, which ones are available. And then I do a couple close up ones. This is the one from this past one. And I did more of this drop, so I couldn't fit all the pictures in it, but same thing. I just do close-up shots and then add the letters next to it. And then people just claim it that way. And then I update it through my stories. Let me flip this. Yeah, so I just um, edit it in my stories of which ones that I've claimed and it's easy to keep track of that. And then I go through PayPal, so I will send them a message like, hey, if you're still interested in necklace B, just send me your PayPal whenever it's convenient for you and then I can get an invoice sent to you. And usually they do it like right away. Um, and if you wanted, you could say, or wait like, a day or two days, however long you are willing to wait and then say, hey, just a reminder, I have this invoice for you. Um, if you're no longer interested, I'm going to put it back up for sale at the end of the day or whatever you wanna do. So the first time I did that, it was really awesome. Uh, all my necklaces sold so I didn't have to put it back into my shop, um, any listings, which it wouldn't have been a big deal if I did anyway. But this one, I'm gonna have a couple because I'm making tomorrow, like the day this cup goes up, be um, the day that I'm going to chain, like put it up to my shop. But I don't know if I'm going to put it on my Etsy shop. I think I'm going to put it on my A Lazy Tuesday Shopify since I already am paying for that. And then that way, people that want to buy it, they also see stuff from my other shop as well. So maybe it would, you know, entice someone to look at other stuff in my shop and purchase them so yeah but what I do is if it's on my Instagram I make it a little bit cheaper just because the fees work out to be a little bit less I did the math and it's um the fees on Etsy are higher so when I put it on Etsy I raised it to 2650 which I think when I put it to my Shopify, I'm gonna raise it as well to $26.50 as well, just because um, keeping it at $25, I like doing that just for the people of Instagram that um, shop my stuff or have shopped before. And also I think it gets people excited and motivated to buy right then instead of, it's only $1.50, so it's not that big of a deal. But yeah. So that's what I do, not selling on Instagram and not selling on Shopify, just selling directly through, not selling on Etsy, not shopping on, not selling on Instagram. Oh, I'm gonna have to edit all that out. So that is what I do, not selling on Etsy and not selling on Shopify for my My Me Made shop. I just, that's how I sell it, just on Instagram through PayPal. So if you, aren't into Etsy, which if you're starting your new shop, I know there's a, all these fees and maybe you're hearing a bunch of like stories about the craziness of fees, but it's, I still think it's a good um, stepping stone to have an Etsy because it gives you a lot of wiggle room to learn how to um, do your customer services, do your different policies, return policies, um, get your name out there just because Etsy is a good place like I even go to Etsy still when I'm looking for something that's one of the first places I go to if I don't already have a shop in mind so yeah but and it's 
kind of free in a sense that like Shopify, you pay monthly for it. Etsy, you do have other fees that you pay for, but it's free other than kind of, you know, there's listing fees and all that stuff, but it's still cheaper when you're first starting out, I think, unless you have, um, there's, I know there's some Instagram accounts that have not how to shop, but they have grown their audience through just being themselves, like their lifestyle vlogs or lifestyle feeds and different sort of stuff like that, that people find interesting. And maybe they come out with a product or a shop idea or something, and they just go through Shopify or another um, e-commerce type of route and they're able to do that because they have such a big following to begin with so anyway i still think etsy is good a good tool if you're beginning it's like really whitewashed oh maybe i should do that it looks kind of dark i was gonna say i look really pale but Anyway, I just got out of the shower and zip on my face, so. Oh, I think that's, I feel like I'm ending it abruptly, but that is what I'm doing right now for my Miami Made Shop. Um, the only reason why I kind of don't want to merge my two shops and put the leftover listings or the leftover necklaces on my A Lazy Tuesday shop is because the website, like I could never put on business cards, like I couldn't put um, like my Etsy shop on it because I don't really sell there. But I don't even think on my business cards I have my shop info on it. <clears throat> I haven't done that in a bit, I don't know why. Ugh, we're just gonna leave it like that. I just have my shop name and stuff. And now I'm rambling, I feel like. But anyway. But yeah, I think I am gonna do that now that I think about it out loud. I have to brainstorm brainstorm out stuff like to think of what I'm really gonna do. But yeah, I still think that's a good idea. But anyway, so that is do you see my Easter flowers? I like flowers. I'm just trying to get them in the shot because I like looking at them. But anyway, so that, I think that's the end of my video. If you have any questions about anything else, like about selling through Instagram or questions about Etsy or anything like that, just leave it in a comment below and I will get back to you. I'm really good about commenting back. Um, so, yeah. But I also have like all my shop info and Instagram links and all that stuff down below like I usually do. And then I think next week I'm either going to have a packing video or I don't know why my voice keeps like, I don't know. Maybe it doesn't sound weird, but I'll find out when I edit. Or it's going to be making my new scrunchie and showing all the new um, designs and stuff. And it's been a while since I posted on my A Lazy Tuesday Instagram and I noticed that, but I don't know. I feel like A Lazy Tuesday on my YouTube is going to take more of a priority than the Instagram just because Instagram takes a lot of effort and it's easier just to talk like this than just sit and like think out what to say, at least for me, so... Anyway, now I definitely am rambling. So next week, packing or scrunchie. Today I'm going to make these scrunchies though, but and film all that. So anyway, oh, I and I guess I need to edit this video, but okay, that's it. I'm done. So thank you guys so much for watching, and if you like this video, I guess thumbs up. I have no idea. If you want to stick around, subscribe. But um. Yeah, and if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. It's getting brighter and brighter, so I will see you guys next Tuesday. Bye.